greatly to be praised. You are wonderful. You are just. You are mighty. You are our redeemer. You are our defender. You are the ancient of days. Great and mighty is your name in the name of Jesus. Let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Let your name be magnified in the name of Jesus. Thank you for you are our hope. Thank you for you are our sustainer. Thank you for you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Father, you alone does wonders and your mercy endure forever. Thank you for you are Lord of lords. Thank you for you are king. You are mighty. You are all powerful. In the name of Jesus. Father, we praise your name and we say, be thou magnified in the name of Jesus. We praise your name and we say, be thou lifted up by the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for you are our source. Thank you for you are our support. Thank you for you are the I am that I am in the name of Jesus. Let your name be glorified as we come before your presence, Lord. Let your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, we come before you and we say thank you. Thank you for all the blessings, the favor, the miracles, the signs, the wonders, all the things that you have given unto us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for you are wonder working power in your name and in the blood of the Lamb. Thank you for giving your angels charge over me. Thank you for fighting for me, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Our God, our soon coming King, our Master and our Redeemer, we come before your presence and we say, Be thou exalted, O God, in the name of Jesus. We come before your presence and we say, Be thou lifted up, Lord, in the name of Jesus. King of kings, Lord of lords, our hope, our sustainer, our defender, our shield, the glory and the lift of our head, we come before you and we say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all the blessings, the testimonies, the miracles, the signs, the wonders, the breakthroughs, everything that you will do for us today, Lord. Father, we come before your presence and we say, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. We come before your throne and we say, be thou magnified in the name of Jesus. King of kings and Lord of lords, we praise you. Almighty God, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise because you are wonderful, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, you are our shepherd. You are our redeemer. You are our shield. You are our strength. You are our provider. You are our protector. The I am that I am. We come before your presence and we say thank you, Lord. Thank you for all the blessings. Thank you for the miracles. Thank you for the signs. Thank you for the wonders, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, to you deserve the glory, the honor, and the praise. You deserve the praise, oh God, and the adoration, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, receive our praise in the name of Jesus. Receive our worship by the power in the blood of Jesus. Our sustainer, our defender, our comforter, our shield. Oh Lord, we come before you and we say, be thou exalted, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We come before you and we say, be thou magnified by the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, you are our provider. You are our protector. You are our shield. You are the glory and the lifter of our heads. We come before your presence and we say thank you for the season of uncommon favor. We thank you, O oh God, for favor in our lives, favor in our families, favor everywhere we go. This is your season. This is our time. Lord of uncommon favor, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you are faithful. Thank you because you are marvelous. Thank you for you are our Redeemer, the soon coming King, the Ancient of Days, the mighty man in battle. To you deserve the glory, the honor, and the praise. We worship you, our mighty God. Thank you for you are holy and you are just God. Receive our prayers in the name of Jesus. Receive our worship now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so God bless you, everyone, and welcome to this evening's prayer. And today we're going to look at season of uncommon favor. So please ensure that you do not miss our prayers that we have in for the rest of the week, because the prayers are very strategic, and they're going to help so much 
you know, in, in, in terms of um, our lives and the things that we're trusting God for. So we are spraying along the lines of favor. See, uh, the season of uncommon favor. We're also going to pray some other prayers regarding the covenant of ease. You know, anointing to stand out, that type of stuff. We're praying those type of prayers for the next, today, starting today to the next um, two days. And then we're going to wind up with prayers for divine protection. All right? So please ensure that you do not miss any of these prayer programs because this is essential in this time. Um, in terms of the time when I'll be having the prayer program, I really can't give you a time. Generally, I would start like 3 p.m. in the evening. Um, that's what I have in place. But um, as some of you know, I have some little things that shift up things in my life, some family situation. And so because of that, I have to go with the flow. All right. So um, just keep an eye out. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And that way you will not miss out any of these prayers. Amen. All right, so for those that are here for the first time or those that are returning, every time we meet, we read the Bible. We're in the book of Joshua. So then we are at Joshua chapter 16. So we're looking at Joshua chapter 16 today and Joshua chapter 17. I'm using the names of God Bible version. Feel free to use whatever version of the Bible you have access to. All right, the so names of God Bible version, just use whatever version of the Bible you have access to and we will take it from there. All right, and um, let's just get into it right now. Let's just get right into it right now. Let's turn over to Joshua chapter 16. Joshua chapter 16. Turn over to Joshua chapter 16. Let's do it. Joshua chapter 16. There the lot was drawn for Joseph. The border of Joseph's territory goes from the Jordan River at Jericho to the springs of Jericho on the east through the desert that goes up from Jericho and through the mountains of Bethel. From Bethel, the border goes to Luz and over to Atarot at the border of the Archites. Then it descends west to the border of Japhlet and lower Beth Horan onto Jezer and ends at the Mediterranean Sea. The Joseph's son Manasseh and Ephraim received this land as their inheritance. This is a territory for families descended from Ephraim. The eastern border of the land they inherited is from Atarat Adar to Upper Bet Horan. From there, the borders goes west with Michimat Hat on the north. The border turns east to Tanat, Shiloh, and passes east of Janoa. From Janoa, it descends to Atarat and Nara touches Jericho and ends at the Jordan River. At, at Tapua, the border goes west along the Cana River and ends at the Mediterranean Sea. This is a land given as an inheritance to families of the tribe of Ephraim, with all the cities and their villages selected from Ephraim in Manasseh's territory. However, they did not force out the Canaanites who live in Gezar, so the Canaanites still live in Ephraim today, but they are required to do forced labor. Amen? So that's the word of God right there. Let's turn over to Joshua chapter 17. Joshua chapter 17. The lot was drawn for the tribe of Manasseh because Manasseh was from Joseph's firstborn. Ashir, Manasseh's firstborn, the ancestor of the people living in Gilead, had received Gilead and Bashan because he was a soldier. The land was given to the rest of the families descended from Manasseh to the descendants of Abizar, Helek, Asriel, Shechem, Ephor, and Shemida. These were the male descendants of Joseph's son, Manasseh, listed by their families. The Liphadad, son of Hepher, grandson of Gilead, and great-grandson of Mashir, whose father was Manasseh, had no sons, only daughters. Their names were Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Terza. They came to the priest Eleazar, Joshua, son of Nun, and the leaders, they said, Yahweh commanded Moses to give us some land as an inheritance among our male relatives. So they gave them an inheritance among their father's relatives as Yahweh had required. Ten portions of land went to Manasseh beside the land of Gilead and Bashan east of the Jordan River. These portions were distributed because Manasseh's daughter were given an inheritance along with his sons. 
While Gilead belonged to Manasseh, other descendants. Manasseh borders extend from Asher to Mishmemhat, which faces Shechem. Then the border goes south toward the people who live in Entupua. The land of Tapua belongs to Manasseh, but Tapua itself on the border of Manasseh belongs to Ephraim. The border then descends southward to the Kana River. The cities, these cities belong to Ephraim, although they are among Manasseh's cities. Manasseh's southern border is the river which ends at the Mediterranean Sea. What is south of the river belongs to Ephraim, and what is north of it belongs to Manasseh. So the Mediterranean Sea is, is its western border, Asher its northern border, Issachar its eastern border. In Issachar and Asher's Manasseh possess Bet Shan and Iblem with their villages and the people living in Dor and Dor, Tanakh and Medigo and their villages. The last three are on mountain ridges. But Manasseh was not able to take possession of these cities since the Canaanites were determined to stay in the land. When the Israelites became strong enough, they made the Canaanites do forced labor since they didn't force all of them out. Joseph's descendant asked Joshua, why did you give us only one region for an inheritance? We have a lot of people because Yahweh has blessed us. Joshua replied, if there are so many of you, go into the forest, clear the ground, clear ground for yourself. There is the land of the Perizzites and Rephaim if the mountains of Ephraim are too confining for you. Joseph's descendant responded, the mountains are not enough for either us. Besides all the Canaanites living in the valley in Beth Shan and its villages and its valley of Jezreel have chariots made of iron. Then Joshua said to the descendants of Joseph, the tribes of Ephraim and Manasseh, you are an important and very powerful people. One region is really not enough for you. The mountain region will be yours as well. It's a forest, so you will have to clear it. All of it will be yours, but you must force out the Canaanites, even though they are strong and have chariots made of iron. Amen? So that's the word of God right there. So today we're looking at the season of uncommon favor. We're looking at the season of uncommon favor. So might be you may be asking yourself, why does this have to do with you, even as a child of God? There are so many scriptures in the Bible that support favor, divine favor, uncommon favor, even the season of uncommon favor. So let's look at um, some scriptures right now before we get into it. So Esther chapter 5, 1 to 3. Esther chapter 5, 1 to 3. Let's read it. Now it happened on the third day that Esther, Esther put on her royal robes and stood in the inner court of the king's palace across from the king's house while the king sat on his royal throne in the royal house facing the entrance of the house. So it was when the king saw Queen Esther standing in the court that she found favor in his sight. And the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. And Esther went near and touched the top of the scepter. And the king said to her, What do you wish, Queen Esther? What is your request? It shall be given to you up to half the kingdom. Amen? So that's an example of favor, uncommon favor showing in the life of Queen Esther. All right, let's look also at Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Luke chapter 2, verse 52, Luke chapter 2, 52. What does it say? It says, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Isn't that powerful? So we can see um, this message is meant to let us know how to activate and increase our favor, even from the word that we just read. And so God is interested in our increase. And wisdom is knowledge and, and knowledge well applied as well. And so by us um, having wisdom, we will be impacted. You know, we said that, we see that we read there in Luke chapter 252, it said Jesus increase in favor, wisdom, and stature. All right? So you might be asking yourself, what is favor? In case you're wondering what is favor, we're going to talk about it now. So what is favor? Favor 
is the currency of heaven to do you good. So favor is the currency of heaven to do you good. That is what favor is. Amen? So you might be asking again, what is favor? All right? What is favor? So favor is an approval of heaven. Favor is an approval of heaven. That is what favor is. And so you may be asking again, what is favor? I don't understand those that you said. Favor is heaven generosity towards you. It is heaven's generosity towards you. And also you may be asking, what is favor? It is an act of divine preference. Believe it or not, God has favor it. It's an act of divine preference. And so it is favor is also when heaven turns to you saying, it is your time. I don't know about you, but I want heaven to turn to me now and say, it is your time. Heaven is already saying, but turn again, heaven, and say, it is your time. So favor is when heaven turns to you and say, it is your time. Favor is when the heaven puts her spotlight on you from among the crowd. So when you're God, when the heaven puts a spotlight on you from among the crowd, it makes you a divine showpiece, a mysterious wonder. That is what favor is. All right. So we see from the scripture that Jesus found favor with God, which translated to the favor with men. So in life, we all need favor. And that's important for us to know. We all need favor. Joseph, Esther, all those people in the Bible all enjoyed favor. And so to become anything in life, the currency we trade with is favor. Amen? So you may be asking yourself, you know, is favor really a miracle or is there a common between both of them? Let's look at the differences between miracle and favor. So miracle defies explanation why favor follows principles. Amen? Miracle defines explanation why favor follows principles. Miracle is a response to crisis why favor is a design. Amen? Miracle is an event while favor is a process. All right? And so God wants us to live beyond miracle. Everyone carries a measure of favor. So once you are born again, you connect this divine currency, which is favor, so you only need to activate and increase it by observing the required principles. That's all you need to do. All right, so now let's look at um, four expressions of favor. Four expressions of favor. So the first one is the presence of God. Let's turn over Bible so we can understand. Luke chapter 128. Presence of God is the first expression of favor. It says, Luke chapter 128 says, and the angel came in unto her and said, Hey, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Amen. So when you carry favor, you enjoy God's presence. And so God's presence terminates every trouble and brings joy. Poverty, just so you know, is the absence of the presence of God. And so God goes with goodness. Amen. So we make sure that we carry the presence of God. That is critical. So God's presence, it prospered Joseph. We see that in scripture, Genesis 39, 2. God's presence prospered Joseph. And so let's look at Genesis 39, 2. It say, and the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And also we can see also here, same in Genesis 39, verses 20 to 21. It says, and Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, a palace where the king's prisoners were bound, and he was there in the prison. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Amen. So we see the presence of God, how it um, can give us favor and how it can act in our life, you know, as a expression of favor. So the second expression of favor is the protection of God, the protection of God. So favor is a shield of protection. Let's look at scripture to support that claim. Psalms chapter five, verse 12. It says, for thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor, will thou compass him as with a shield. Amen. That is what it says in the Bible. Another expression of favor is that promotion 
from God. Promotion from God is another expression of favor. Psalm 75, 5 to 7, what does it say? Lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck, for promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south, but is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. Psalm 75, 5 to 7. So we see Esther was promoted in a strange land by the reason of favor she received. All right? So favor, as we can see, even from the biblical perspective, is that favor change status. It does. Favor change status of people. So let's look at Esther chapter 2, 17. It says, and the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins, so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. So you can see right there, the status of Esther was changed. Esther was promoted in that strange land by the reason of the favor she received. And in that same instance, her status was changed, changed from, you know, the little girl to the queen. All right. Another expression of favor, and this is the last one, is prosperity from God. Prosperity from God. So when you are favored, you cannot be broke or stranded. And that's true. Let's turn to scriptures and, and look at it. Job 36, verse 11. Job 36, verse 11. It says, if they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. Amen. That's what the word of God says. All right. So now we see the whole four expressions of favor. The presence of God is one. The protection of God is the other one. Promotion of God or promotion from God is the third one. And prosperity from God. Those are the expression of favor. Now let's look at the three keys to increase in your favor. Three keys to increase in your favor. So because favor is a force and a magnitude, you can increase it through. What, these are the three things you can increase it through. Number one, obedience. Obedience is the key that activates favor. And God will test your obedience when alone with God. And um, he tests you before granting that favor. So obedience is a key to increase your favor. And let's look at scripture, Isaiah chapter 119. It say, if he be willing and obedient, he shall eat the good of the land. That's the key right there. And so when we look at Bible, Abraham asked to leave his native land, but he left with, his lot, with, with Lot. Lot is his nephew, which was a partial obedience. So God did not speak to him until chapter 14, as we know in the scripture, and his blessing was not released until Lot departed. So you must obey God's leading and word to activate his favor. All right. So let's look at Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 just to support this obedience situation here. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandment which I commanded thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. All right, so that's what it says. Um, and it comes on to obedience. So all these things are required to increase in your favor. So obedience is the first one. Second one is service. Service. So service is another key that activates favor. And service releases favor and servanthood. And it is a channel through which favor passes. And so what, you know, you have to ask yourself, what is your mission in the kingdom of God? Are you planning to serve or be of service in the kingdom of God? Or you just want to sit around and do nothing. Serving God it is very good, but you also need to offer your service back into the kingdom of God. Those things will come and favor into your life. All right. So another way to increase your favor is through stewardship. And so stewardship means that you're being faithful in the little thing that God has given to you. And so as a result of that, it will multiply the favor that is on your life. And so God can, for example, give you money and he can use that money to make you his steward. All right. Very, very important. So just to recap, the three kings of it, three keys of increasing your favor are obedience, service, and stewardship. And we already discussed them. So what to do to enjoy favor? 
what do you do? You want to enjoy this favor? You want to go through your season of uncommon favor? What do you do? So first, you need to expect it. Expect someone to favor you or expect the Lord to favor you. All right, so let's look at Proverbs 23, verse 18. It says, for surely there is an end and thine expectation shall not be cut off. That's what the word says. So you need to expect it. The next thing that you got to do, you got to pray for it. Pray for that favor. Request it from God. Very much important. And the other thing that you would do is to demand it. So think out of the box and break the rules. Don't agree to impossibilities. All things are possible, just so you know. And so they may say that it is it's not done for the people, but you must demand what you want. Demand it. God will give it to you. And the other way that you can enjoy favor is, or what you can do to enjoy favor, is by being a seed sower. Sow seed, you know, all the time. Sow seed of favor, of favor every time. Sow seed for what you want God to do. All right? It's important. Sow seed. When you sow, you reap. It doesn't matter what you do. If you don't plant, you will not reap. So you always sow so that you can reap. Okay? Let's look at some scriptures right now. Um, Psalms chapter 5, verse 12. Psalms chapter 5, verse 12. It says, for, for thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. Will thou compass me as with a shield? Amen? So that is very, very important for us to look at. All right. So with that said, let's take the opportunity right now. Let's just begin to ask the Lord for mercy. We're going into prayers where we're going to ask him for favor. The word of God say, I'm closed with the garment of favor everywhere I turn to. Everyone I meet will favor my cause in the land of the living. I am blessed and richly favored in all that I lay my hands upon in the journey of life. So we have to just give God thanks. To the glory of God, let's just begin to cry out to him and ask him for mercy right now. Confess the word of God, turn the word into declaration and ask him for mercy over uncommon, over for uncommon favor over your life. Let's just cry out to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand on your word, O God, because your word said, for thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor, wilt thou compass him as a shield. Father, we stand before your throne and we say thank you, Lord. Father, we come before your presence and we ask you for favor, Lord. Father, let there be divine favor over our life. Let there be divine favor in our families, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we are decreeing that we are clothed with the garment of favor. Everywhere we turn to, everyone we meet will favor our cause in the land of the living. Father, we decree and de declare and declare that, Lord, we are richly and bless, O oh God, and favored in all that we lay our hands upon in this journey of life, Lord. Lord, we praise you, O oh God. We give you all the glory. We say thank you. Thank you, O oh God, for with you all things are possible, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for fighting our battle. Thank you for being our restorer. Thank you for being our protector. Thank you for being our master and our defender. Lord, we praise your name and we say, be thou magnified, Lord. Take all the glory. Take all the honor, Lord. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so we're going to pray these prayers now. As you ask the Lord for mercy, as you ask him for mercy right now, we're going to get right into the prayers. Father, thank you. Let your mercy prevail. Take all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Have mercy upon us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray this one. Anointing for supernatural favor. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointing for supernatural favor. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointing for supernatural favor. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointing for supernatural favor. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointing for supernatural favor. Fall upon me. In the name of Jesus, anointing for supernatural favor, fall upon me. In the name of Jesus, anointing for supernatural favor, fall upon me. In the name of Jesus, anointing for supernatural favor, fall upon me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I decree testimony. 
in every department of my life. In the name of Jesus, I decree testimony in every department of my life. In the name of Jesus, I decree testimony in every department of my life. In the name of Jesus, I decree testimony in every department of my life. In the name of Jesus, I decree testimony in every department of my life. In the name of Jesus, I decree testimony in every department of my life. In the name of Jesus, I decree testimony in any department of my life. In the name of Jesus, I decree testimony in every department of my life. In the name of Jesus, I decree testimony in any department of my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, open an independent well of prosperity in my life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, open an independent well of prosperity in my life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, open an independent well of prosperity in my life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, open an independent well of prosperity in my life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, open an independent well of prosperity in my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, guide me to the special place you have prepared for me. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, guide me to the special place you have prepared for me. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, guide me to the special place you have prepared for me. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, guide me to the special place you have prepared for me. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, guide me to the special place you have prepared for me. In the name of Jesus, my God, guide me to the special place you have prepared for me. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, guide me to the special place you have prepared for me. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, guide me to the special place you have prepared for me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, guide me to the special place you have prepared for me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, guide me to the special place you have prepared for me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, guide me to the special place you have prepared for me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, guide me to the special place you have prepared for me in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, guide me to the special place you have prepared for me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Failure shall not slaughter my destiny. In the name of Jesus, failure shall not slaughter my destiny. In the name of Jesus, failure shall not slaughter my destiny. In the name of Jesus, Failure shall not slaughter my destiny. In the name of Jesus, failure shall not slaughter my destiny. In the name of Jesus, failure shall not slaughter my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, failure shall not slaughter my destiny. In the name of Jesus, failure shall not slaughter my destiny. In the name of Jesus, failure shall not slaughter my destiny. In the name of Jesus, Failure shall not slaughter my destiny. In the name of Jesus, failure shall not slaughter my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every mark of disfavor, by the blood of Jesus, I wipe you off. In the name of Jesus, every mark of disfavor, by the blood of Jesus, I wipe you off. In the name of Jesus, Every mark of disfavor by the blood of Jesus, I wipe you off in the name of Jesus. Every mark of disfavor by the blood of Jesus, I wipe you off in the name of Jesus. Every mark of disfavor by the blood of Jesus, I wipe you off in the name of Jesus. Every mark of disfavor by the blood of Jesus, I wipe you off 
In the name of Jesus, every mark of disfavor by the blood of Jesus, I wipe you off. In the name of Jesus, every mark of disfavor by the blood of Jesus, I wipe you off. In the name of Jesus, every mark of disfavor by the blood of Jesus, I wipe you off. In the name of Jesus, every mark of disfavor by the blood of Jesus, I wipe you off. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I reverse every mandate given to any evil power to supervise my life. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every mandate given to any evil power to supervise my life. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every mandate given to any evil power to supervise my life. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every mandate given to any evil power to supervise my life. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every mandate given to any evil power to supervise my life. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every mandate given to any evil power to supervise my life. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every mandate given to any evil power to supervise my life. In the name of Jesus, I reverse every mandate given to any evil power to supervise my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I receive the anointing to excel above my contemporaries. In the name of Jesus, I receive the anointing to excel above my contemporaries. In the name of Jesus, I receive the anointing to excel above my contemporaries. In the name of Jesus, I receive the anointing to excel above my contemporaries. In the name of Jesus, I receive the anointing to excel above my contemporaries. In the name of Jesus, I receive the anointing to excel above my contemporaries. In the name of Jesus, I receive the anointing to excel above my contemporaries. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, I receive your messenger of uncommon favor. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I receive your messenger of uncommon favor. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I receive your messenger of uncommon favor. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I receive your messenger of uncommon favor. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I receive your messenger of uncommon favor. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I receive your messenger of uncommon favor. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I receive your messenger of uncommon favor. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I receive your messenger of uncommon favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I command every glory that the enemies have captured in my life to be restored. In the name of Jesus, I command every glory that the enemy have captured in my life to be restored. In the name of Jesus, I command every glory that the enemies have captured in my life to be restored. In the name of Jesus, I command every glory that the enemies have captured in my life to be restored. In the name of Jesus, I command every glory that the enemies have captured in my life to be restored. In the name of Jesus, I command every glory that the enemies have captured in my life to be restored. In the name of Jesus, I command every glory that the enemies have captured in my life to be restored. In the name of Jesus, I command every glory that the enemies have captured in my life to be restored. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I withdraw from the school of stagnancy in every department of my life. 
In the name of Jesus, I withdraw from the school of stagnancy in every department of my life. In the name of Jesus, I withdraw from the school of stagnancy in every department of my life. In the name of Jesus, I withdraw from the school of stagnancy in every department of my life. In the name of Jesus, I withdraw from the school of stagnancy in every department of my life. In the name of Jesus, I withdraw from the school of stagnancy in every department of my life. In the name of Jesus, I withdraw from the school of stagnancy in every department of my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, renew your favor upon my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, renew your favor upon my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, renew your favor upon my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, renew your favor upon my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, renew your favor upon my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, renew your favor upon my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, renew your favor upon my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, renew your favor upon my life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, renew your favor upon my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I claim an envelope in favor. In the name of Jesus, I claim an envelope in favor. In the name of Jesus, I claim an envelope in favor. In the name of Jesus, I claim an envelope in favor. In the name of Jesus, I claim an envelope in favor. In the name of Jesus, I claim an envelope in favor. In the name of Jesus, I claim an envelope in favor. In the name of Jesus, I claim an envelope in favor. In the name of Jesus, I claim an envelope in favor. In the name of Jesus, I claim an envelope in favor. In the name of Jesus, I claim an envelope in favor. In the name of Jesus, I claim an envelope in favor. In the name of Jesus, I claim an envelope in favor. In the name of Jesus, I claim an envelope in favor. In the name of Jesus, I claim an envelope in favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I march out of frustration, disappointment, and delay into blessing and favor. In the name of Jesus, I march out of frustration, disappointment, and delay into blessing and favor. In the name of Jesus, I march out of frustration, disappointment, and delay into blessing and favor. In the name of Jesus, I march out of frustration, disappointment, and delay into blessing and favor. In the name of Jesus, I march out of frustration, disappointment, and delay into blessings and favor. In the name of Jesus, I march out of frustration, disappointment, and delay into blessing and favor. In the name of Jesus, I march out of frustration, disappointment, and delay into blessings and favor. In the name of Jesus, I march out of frustration, disappointment, and delay into blessings and favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I shall not die without fulfilling my purpose on earth. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die without fulfilling my purpose on earth. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die without fulfilling my purpose on earth. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die without fulfilling my purpose on earth. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die without fulfilling my purpose on earth. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die without fulfilling my purpose on earth. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die without fulfilling my purpose on earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I will manifest God's glory in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, 
I will manifest God's glory in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, I will manifest God's glory in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, I will manifest God's glory in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, I will manifest God's glory in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, I will manifest God's glory in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, I will manifest God's glory in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, I will manifest God's glory in the land of the living. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, close me with favor. In the name of Jesus, Lord, close me with favor. In the name of Jesus, Lord, close me with favor. In the name of Jesus, Lord, close me with favor. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, close me with favor. In the name of Jesus, my Father, close me with favor. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, close me with favor. In the name of Jesus, my God, clothe me with favor. In the name of Jesus, oh God, clothe me with favor. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every garment of hatred burn into ashes. In the name of Jesus, every garment of hatred burn into ashes. In the name of Jesus, Every garment of hatred burn into ashes. In the name of Jesus, every garment of hatred burn into ashes. In the name of Jesus, every garment of hatred burn into ashes. In the name of Jesus, every garment of hatred burn into ashes. In the name of Jesus, every garment of hatred burn into ashes. In the name of Jesus, Every garment of hatred burn into ashes. In the name of Jesus, every garment of hatred burn into ashes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. By favor, I am a beneficiary of accelerated progress. In the name of Jesus, by favor, I am a beneficiary of accelerated progress. In the name of Jesus, by favor, I am a beneficiary of accelerated progress. In the name of Jesus, by favor, I am a beneficiary of accelerated progress. In the name of Jesus, by favor, I am a beneficiary of accelerated progress. In the name of Jesus, by favor, I am a beneficiary of accelerated progress. In the name of Jesus, by favor, I am a beneficiary of accelerated progress. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. By favor, my life shall witness divine promotion. In the name of Jesus, by favor, my life shall witness divine promotion. In the name of Jesus, by favor, my life shall witness divine promotion. In the name of Jesus, by favor, my life shall witness divine promotion. In the name of Jesus, by favor, my life shall witness divine promotion. In the name of Jesus, by favor, my life shall witness divine promotion. In the name of Jesus, by favor, my life shall promote divine promotion. In the name of Jesus, by favor, my life shall witness divine promotion. In the name of Jesus, by favor, my life shall witness divine promotion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any attitude in my life, fight in divine favor. Reveal it to me, Lord, so I can make the necessary change. In the name of Jesus, any attitude in my life, fight in divine favor. Reveal it to me, Lord, so that I can make the necessary change. In the name of Jesus, any attitude in my life, fight in divine favor. Reveal it to me, Lord, so that I can make the necessary change. In the name of Jesus, any attitude in my life, 
fighting divine favor. Reveal it to me, Lord, so that I can make the necessary change in the name of Jesus, in the attitude in my life. Fighting divine favor. Reveal it to me, Lord, so that I can make the necessary change in the name of Jesus, in the attitude in my life. Fighting divine favor. Reveal it to me, Lord, so that I can make the necessary change. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I refuse to be a second-class citizen. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to be a second-class citizen. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to be a second-class citizen. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to be a second-class citizen. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to be a second-class citizen. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to be a second-class citizen. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to be a second-class citizen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I am anointed for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, I am anointed for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, I am anointed for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, I am anointed for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, I am anointed for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, I am anointed for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, I am anointed for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, I am anointed for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, I am anointed for signs and wonders. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let the fresh oil for great exploit come upon me today. In the name of Jesus, let the fresh oil for great exploits come upon me today. In the name of Jesus, let the fresh oil for great exploits come upon me today. In the name of Jesus, let fresh oil for great exploits come upon me today. In the name of Jesus, let fresh oil for great exploits come upon me today. In the name of Jesus, let fresh oil for great exploits come upon me today. In the name of Jesus, let fresh oil for great exploits come upon me today. In the name of Jesus, let fresh oil for great exploits come upon me today. In the name of Jesus, let fresh oil for great exploits come upon me today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My head shall not lack God's oil of favor. In the name of Jesus, my head shall not lack God's oil of favor. In the name of Jesus, my head shall not lack God's oil of favor. In the name of Jesus, my head shall not lack God's oil of favor. In the name of Jesus, my head shall not lack God's oil of favor. In the name of Jesus, my head shall not lack God's oil of favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, increase my favor for all around breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, Lord, increase my favor for all around breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, increase my favor for all around breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, increase my favor for all around breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, increase my favor for all around breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, oh, oh Lord, increase my favor for all around breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, increase my favor for all around breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, my God, increase my favor for all around breakthroughs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Money, come to me. In the name of Jesus, money, come to me. In the name of Jesus, money, come to me. In the name of Jesus, money, come to me. In the name of Jesus, money, come to me. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Literally, you know, money, you can actually call it. It's a spirit. You can call it. It come to you. All right? So we're going to pray this one. Let money be my servant, not my master from today. In the name of Jesus, let money be my servant, not my master from today. In the name of Jesus, let money be my servant, not my master from today. In the name of Jesus, let money be my servant, not my master from today. In the name of Jesus, let money be my servant, not my master from today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I command my angels to bring me money from every direction. In the name of Jesus, I command my angels to bring me money from every direction. In the name of Jesus, I command my angels to bring me money from every direction. In the name of Jesus, I command my angels to bring me money from every direction. In the name of Jesus, I command my angels to bring me money from every direction. In the name of Jesus, I command my angels to bring me money from every direction. In the name of Jesus, I command my angels to bring me money from every direction. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, let your prosperity from heaven come over the works of my hands. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your prosperity from heaven come over the work of my hands. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your prosperity from heaven come over the work of my hands. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your prosperity from heaven come over the work of my hands. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your prosperity from heaven come over the works of my hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I bind every work of poverty and devour upon my hand. In the name of Jesus, I bind every work of poverty and devour upon my hand. In the name of Jesus, I bind every work of poverty and devour upon my handwork. In the name of Jesus, I bind every work of poverty and devour upon my handwork. In the name of Jesus, I bind every work of poverty and devour upon my handwork. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I command the door of blessings to open from every angle unto me. In the name of Jesus, I command the door of blessings to open from every angle unto me. In the name of Jesus, I command the door of blessings to open from every angle unto me. In the name of Jesus, I command the door of blessings to open from every angle unto me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let men go out of their way. To show me favor this year. In the name of Jesus. Let men go out of their way. To show me favor this year. In the name of Jesus. Let men go out of their way. To show me favor this year. In the name of Jesus. Let men go out of their way. To show me favor this year. In the name of Jesus. Let men go out of their way. To show me favor this year. In the name of Jesus. Let men go out of their way. To show me favor this year. In the name of Jesus. Let men go out of their way. To show me favor this year. In Jesus name we pray. And. Those that believe me. Shall witness my progress this year. In the name of Jesus. Those that believe to me shall witness my progress this year. In the name of Jesus, those that believe to me shall witness my progress this year. In the name of Jesus, those that believe to me shall witness my progress this year. In the name of Jesus, those that believe to me shall witness my progress this year. In the name of Jesus, 
those that believe to me shall witness my progress this year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, let's take the opportunity. Let's just begin to thank God for answering these prayers. Let's thank him. He's a great God. He's wonderful. He's all powerful. He's mighty. He's our deliverer. He's our restorer. Father, lay your hand upon us and bless us today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, all these prayers that we are praying, Lord, we soak them in the blood of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for your word will never fail. Your word will never, will never fall to the ground, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We bless your name because you're faithful, God. We bless your name, O oh God, because you are glorious in holiness and fearful in praises. Father, receive our prayers right now in the name of Jesus. Father, be merciful unto us, Lord. Hear our cry and answer them in the name of Jesus. Father, every prayer that we pray today, by your mercy, answer them in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare that no weapon that form against us will prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, it is condemned by the power in the blood of Jesus. Father, be our maker, be our shield, the glory and the lift of our head. Almighty God, we praise your name. Precious God, we come before your presence and we say, be thou magnified, Lord. We thank you, O God, that there will be no regrouping or regathering of any powers of darkness against us because of these prayers. But Lord, you will arise. You will fight for us, O God. You will defend your interest in our life by your mercy in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for you have done it. To you deserve the glory, the honor, and the praise. We worship you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so that's it for today's prayer, the season of uncommon favor. And just so you know, um, our confession is for this week is Isaiah chapter 53. I'm going to read it from a simpler version tonight. So I'm going to use a living Bible version. Let's do it. Isaiah 53. But oh, how few believe it. Who will listen? To whom will God reveal his saving power? In God's eyes, he was like a tender green shoot sprouting from a root in a dry and sterile ground. But in our eyes, there was no attractiveness at all, nothing to make us want him. We despised him and rejected him, a man of sorrows acquainted with bitterest grief. We turned our backs on him and looked the other way when he went by. He was despised and we didn't care. Yet it was our grief he bore, our sorrows that weighed him down. We thought it was his troubles were a punishment from God for his own sins. But he was wounded and bruised for our sins. He was beaten that we might have peace. He was lashed and we were healed. We, every one of us, have strayed away like sheep. We who left God paths to follow our own. Yet God laid on him the guilt and sin of every one of us. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he never said a word. He was brought as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before her shearers is dumb. So he stood silent before the ones condemning him. From prison and trial, they led him away to his death. But who among the people of that day realized it was their sins and that he was dying for that he was suffering their punishment? He was buried like a criminal, but in a rich man's grave. But he had done no wrong and had never spoken an evil word. But it was the Lord's good plan to bruise him and fill him with grief. However, when his soul has been made an offering for sin, then he shall have a multitude of children many years. He shall live again, and God's program shall prosper in his hands. And when he sees all that is accomplished by the anguish of his soul, he shall be satisfied. Because of what he has experienced, my righteous servant shall make many to be counted righteous before God. But he shall bear all their sins. Therefore, I will give him the honor of one who is mighty and great because he has poured out his soul unto death. He was counted as a sinner and he bore the sins of many and he pled with God for sinners. Amen. So that's the word of God and our confession for this week in Isaiah chapter 53. I pray that the Lord will be with you. I pray that his face will shine upon you. I pray that he will be gracious unto you. I cover you as you go in the blood of Jesus. The Lord will fight for you. The God will surprise you in this season with uncommon favor. To the glory of his name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. 
So God bless you. Before you go, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, your family, and loved ones. Subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell so that whenever we go live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. All right. So see you very soon here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and you hit the notification bell so you don't miss the prayers that we're having for the rest of the week. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.